Are you telling me that Wong said butt? Oh, the ball hit the book. Spread out! If I had the money, then I'd buy your freedom for one cent. <laughs> I'm sentimental about weddings. A ship! Change course. That ship outguns us. We must sail. You're not leaving! You're a fool. As Parsons was left deserted by Bonnie Mary and her cutthroat pirates, on the other side of the island, we all waited in excited anticipation. Finally, the dear Lord had answered our prayers. But our rescue was to take on a surprising dimension, which was destined to change the course of our lives forever. Father? Yes, my dear, it is. It's your grandfather, children. It's your grandfather. Oh, Elizabeth, I'd almost given up hope of seeing you alive again. Any of you, let me look at you. Oh, you found us. How are you, my dear? I'm well, Father. We are all well, thank God. But there are pirates on this island, and... They have just attacked us. Pirates? Mr. Collins, there are pirates on the island. Keep a sharp lookout. Yes, sir. The children, Father. Ernst. How do you do, sir? Joanna. Hello, Grandpa. May I introduce you to my husband, Ben? Your, your husband? Yes, Father just married us. How do you do, sir? It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Yes. How do you do? And Christina! Oh, <laughs> how you've grown! I'm happy to see you again, sir. I feared perhaps the day would never come. David. And here is someone new for you to meet, Father. Baby Hope. Another grandchild? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Emily, what's wrong? What is it? I found you at last. Come. No, she's not going with you. Sir, I think in the circumstances it would be much more seemly if Emily stayed with us. Emily belongs to me, and I take what is mine. I'm sure you will agree, Mr. Wong Sen, that Emily should remain with us in loco parentis, so to speak, until her wedding day. Common decency demands no less. Very well. 
Well, come now, let's get you all safely back to the Hawk. It's high time these girls had some proper clothes. I just want to talk to you. I'm frightened. Why can't you just tell him to go with me? It's not that simple. Well, if she doesn't tell him, I will. You'll do nothing of the sort, Ernst. I'm not a child. Stop acting like one. Search the immediate neighborhood without finding any pirates. No traces of their presence. The treehouse? All destroyed, man. Get it. Wise to go short of ice. To be sure it's quite safe. Oh, David. Yes. In fact, it's dinner time. I'm sure you'll all be very grateful for your first civilized meal in ages. Eh? Come along, children, now. Quick, dear, run along. Elizabeth? David? You too, Ernst. I want to know what is going on. How do I know which one to use first? I was gonna ask that. Use any one you like. No, you start at the outside and you work in towards the plate. There are meat knives and fish knives. And fish forks. Oh, which one is a fish knife? This one? This one? No, this is a fish knife. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Children? Ernst? Yes? Mr. Wong Sen would like to sit beside his betrothed. This is my place. Do as you're told, boy. Ernst. Please. Ah, you all look a great deal more civilized. What's that boy doing here? Billy's our friend. He always eats with us. Cabin boys at table, children speaking out of turn. You may leave. You sit down, child. Christina, please. I'll go too. I'll leave as well. Take your hand off her. Ernst, no. Mr. Wang Sen, Emily is not your wife yet. Will everybody please sit down? Including Billy? Of course not. And I don't want to listen to any more silly arguments. Then you won't have to. How could he talk to Billy like that? He's an old man, David. Just set in his ways. Well, I know that, but it doesn't give him the right to sail into our lives and destroy everything that we've gained. We're the only ones who know what dangers we faced on that island. The bonds that we forged, all of us. I didn't realize how much we'd all changed. Going back. Boston will, will seem very strange. Do we have to go back? Now that the island has been discovered, it wouldn't be as if we were still marooned. All these months, all I wanted was to be rescued. But now... Emily, just tell him. I can't. My father gave me to him. But he's as old as my grandfather. 
That doesn't matter. I'm betrothed to Wang Sin. Precisely, my child. Emily's changed her mind. You have to release her from this contract. No. My only desire is to obey my father's wishes and marry you, Wang Sin. Emily has cost me a fortune, boy. I have no intention of giving up such a costly possession. Does money mean that much to you? It's certainly more important than sentiment. Well, in that case, would you sell Emily to me? <laughs> Where would you get such wealth, boy? Would you? Everything has its price. Gotta help me. Wang Sen says he'll sell Emily to me. Where would you find the money? The treasure. What do your father say to that? I don't think we should touch the treasure. You know it's supposed to be for all the family. Ben, please, for my sake, I'll take responsibility. I, I just need your help. <sighs> what do you want us to do? The following morning, Ben, Billy, and I decided to return to the island. While the ship was still at anchor, replenishing a source of supplies. <laughs> Unaware that Parsons was still in hiding, intent on securing his own supplies. Good morning, sir. Yeah, I simply don't know what to think. You've changed beyond all recognition. In what way? We each have our preordained place in life, David. We step outside that place at our peril. I see nothing wrong in our behavior, sir. If we've become uncivilized, then I'm proud of it. Hmm. I presume when we get back to Boston, you still expect me to employ you. Not necessarily. Oh, you'd be happy to starve? Oh, we won't starve, sir. Money is the least of our worries. Mm -hmm. So you have hidden riches. Exactly, sir. Father, mother. What is it? Ernst is gone. And Bill and Billy. Sign of them on board, sir. We've searched everywhere. They must have gone ashore. Lower a boat. Mr. Collins, 
I want you to undertake a land search. Aye, sir. What have you done to Ernst? Here we are. Kind of you to pack up all that booty neat and tidy for me. I oh, keep back, Parsons. There's three of us. Three of you? Oh, my knees are not. You're not getting the treasure. Who's gonna stop me? Gotcha. Now, pack up that booty in them sacks. Unless you'd like to see this little fish wriggling from the end of my hook. Outside. Henrietta. And don't forget my dinner. <laughs> Start walking. No. Who the hell are they? Out of my way, you two, or I'll gut the boy. I'll kill him. We will. They don't care whether you kill him or not. More than likely, they'll kill us if we don't give them the treasure. No! I'm not dying for any treasure. Here. No! Run. Mr. Robinson, no trace of pirates, sir, nor any sign of the boys. I'm sorry. Mother! Mother! Where have you been? We were so worried. What have you got there, Billy? We got Henrietta, sir. Hmm. Ernst? It's the treasure. Treasure? Wong San said that I could buy him and he's free. I understand. But it's not your decision to make, nor mine. Everyone must agree. Yes, Father. If we haven't got the treasure, maybe we could stay on the island. Oh, it's 
think you're a fool, Davis. Emily is a member of our family. Yes, but if you leave all this, you might as well stay on this island. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Is it sufficient? You may have, Emily. Sir, would you be willing to sign an affidavit before the captain releasing Emily from her contract? My word is sufficient, Mr. Robinson. I'm sure that it is, Mr. Wong Sen, but I would feel more comfortable in the possession of such a document. You insult me, sir. That's not my intention, but I don't want to take any chances either. Very well. If you insist, good. I'll speak with the captain. Come on, everyone. Let's leave Mr. Wong Sen to his new adventure. Go on. Go in. So, um, what do we do now? I belong to you now. No, you don't. You belong to yourself. I must marry you. Only if you want to. Do you? You know I do. But I don't want to stay here on the island. I want to go back to Boston. I want to go back to Boston, too. There's so much I can't do here. I want to write the story of this family. Thank you again, Ernst. For the first time in my life, I feel free. more right to that treasure than you. If I raise my finger to my servant, the only right you will have is a knife. It was my only hope of revenge. Against who? David Robinson. And why do you want revenge on Mr. Robinson? He murdered my brother. I needed that treasure to bring him to justice. Hmm. What sort of justice could a man like me find in Boston? We may be able to help each other. We're all agreed? Yes. Yes. Good. That settles it. We'll remain on the island. Father? I, uh, I wish to apologize. I understand now how profoundly the island has affected all of you. I regret losing you, having just found you, but... You know your own heart's best. Thank you, Father. Thank you, sir. I accuse this man of murdering my brother. Who is this? His name is Parsons, Father. He's a pirate. That man murdered my brother, and there is no justice on this ship other than what I brings myself. Captain Blacker, put this man in irons. How dare he accuse decent people? Accusation has been made, sir. It must be answered. What do you say, Mr. Robinson? But this is absurd. Why would my son-in-law wish to kill anyone? Alas. A handkerchief? Belonging to Mistress Robbins. See there? Her name. Give this to my brother Seth as a token of her affection. We found that out. We killed him. You monstrous liar! How dare you! Mr. Collins, stop them! Pull them apart! <laughs> it is very clear. Mr. Robinson is perfectly capable of killing another man. I can see now that I shall have no peace while this man is at liberty to hound me. I'm innocent, Captain, and I will gladly return to Boston to prove it. And to see you brought to justice. Mm -hmm.